Bismillah Rahman Rahim, <clears throat> Honorable Deputy Vice Chancellor, Deans and Faculty Members of University Atara, Malaysia, virtually connected to the conference hall. Conference Chair, Associate Professor Dr. Abdul Haleem Abdul Majid, Conference Co-Chair, Professor Dr. Imran Sharif Chaudhary, Dean, Faculty of Economics, Commerce and Management Sciences, Deans of Faculties, Distinguished Keynote Speakers, Representative from Center for Sustainability Research and Consultancy Pakistan, President Multan, Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Editorial Members of Sponsoring Journals, Distinguished Guests, Worthy Academicians and Research Scholars, Ladies and Gentlemen, Assalamu Alaikum and have a pleasant morning. I am honored to have opportunity to address such a galaxy of scholars and opinion makers in social and behavioral sciences at first international research conference on economics, business and social sciences on this day of April 12, 2016. The theme of the first edition of this conference is research for development in developing countries. This theme is one more reason other than the enthusiastic invitation by the organizing members that I am here to speak to this beautiful spring gathering. Integration of knowledge creation process with the human welfare and societal problems through basic and applied research is the noblest virtue of the scholars. The title of the conference itself signifies integration of disciplines in social and behavioral sciences to bring multidisciplinary discussion on emerging issues faced by businesses and society. I have been told to discuss the research ideas and issues that academic community in social and behavioral sciences should focus on to make their research and teaching relevant to the society, individuals and economy. The world today is facing many challenges, mainly stemming from environmental degradation and social exclusion. Developing countries face the largest proportion of negative consequences of these challenges, mainly due to lack of indigenized solutions in line with global best practices. United Nations Sustainability Development Goals are the broad directions for the policy makers and research scholars to make their endeavors focused on the practical issues faced by the diverse community and economic actors. Research lies at the core of universities. Academics here are expected to not only teach to the great minds at terminal stage of their academic life, but they are also expected to bring innovative research-based solutions to various challenges faced by the society, individual and businesses. Relevance to society is what makes a research worthy of appreciation and becomes the real differentiating point between the universities of higher and lower ranks. The dilemma is very clear. At one side, there are more and more severe challenges faced by developing countries, yet on the other hand, the universities and research scholars are not fully addressing these issues in their research endeavors. Through this two days conference with two international summits on sustainable development, the conference is going to be a platform to wedge the gap between knowledge and practice for the benefit of society, institutions, organizations, and individuals. Towards the end, I appreciate the coordination and efforts of Center of Sustainability Research and Consultancy Pakistan, School of Economics, Bahauddin Zakriya University, Multan, Pakistan, School of Business Management, University Uttara, Malaysia, Emerald Group Publishing UK, 
and World Association of Business Schools in Islamic countries to convene this conference. The conference has not only touched upon a very relevant theme, but also has brought two institutions of higher learning together from Malaysia and Pakistan. Bahauddin Zakriya University, Multan, Pakistan encourages all efforts that may bring excellence to academia. I appreciate the role of leadership and academic community of Bahauddin Zakriya University, Multan, Pakistan and University Uttara, Malaysia to facilitate this worthy event under the flagship of CSRC. Especially, I would also appreciate the efforts of Professor Dr. Imran Sharif Chaudhary, who made this conference possible in Pakistan in collaboration with Malaysia. I have also come to know that the conference is organized mainly by the alumni of BZU Pakistan, studying in PhD programs at University of Tara, Malaysia. I believe that the university graduates are the goodwill ambassadors of BZU Pakistan and I am happy that they are doing their job well by such productive activities. Through this event, I want to convey that BZU values its alumni well and would welcome to coordinate for any ideas or initiative that, might, that may bring academic excellence or local community development. At the end, I urge all the faculty members and early career research scholars in social and behavioral sciences to focus on research problem statements which can contribute to create a more socially inclusive business and society through environment friendly initiatives. Through the various discussions on this forum, I believe the scholars will bring a change in their personal life and behavior as well. It will be expected that you will respect diversity and save natural resources during personal consumption of your daily life. From this starting point, you can move on to flash upon research ideas and practical initiatives that may benefit the society around you at large. I am thankful to the conference committee for inviting me to this worthy gathering and let me speak my conscience and share my knowledge and experiences. I welcome again all the participants to the BZU Pakistan to enjoy hospitality and facilitation during this conference and hopeful for a useful discussion on relevant topics. Wish you the best of the academic discussion and networking in line with the conference theme. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us to his path and enable us to do noble deeds. Thank you. Excellent. Mashallah. 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 Mashall